What's up everybody? It's TR from Earth Angel Mushrooms. I want to make an update on what I'm uh, doing. So last video I was talking about spawn. Um, so my new operation down in Bourbon, Missouri, um, I had started, um, you guys probably saw a video several months ago about a uh, uh, committed spawn lab. So I'm moving forward with building out the filters. So I wanted to go over how I build them um, I am not a carpenter by trade, so no one posts any crap about me. I know I'm bad. Anyway, um, so I use the standard, uh, these are two by four filters, or basically two by four. Eric Myers has a video, he uses the same filters. Um, this is the first time that I've used these specific filters, but uh, his video has them. You can pick up those filters for a hundred. 200 bucks, sometimes they're 300 bucks, but go online, eBay, uh, online, you, there, there's a million places to get them. But I wanted to go over uh, just quick about how I'm going to build these. I've been building them for the last uh, couple hours a day for the last couple days. Um, so I'm going to have a committed spawn lab that all I do in that lab is make cultures and make spawn. Um, and no production will ever go in there. It's going to be my committed clean room lab that I will do the most important stuff. Anyway, so it's not rocket science to build a hood or a filter. Um, I am not a carpenter, but I can mangle one together. Um, so anyway, I am using particle board I think it's called MDF. You can get it at Lowe's or Home Depot or any of the lumber yards. This is half inch. Um, you can do half inch or three quarters or whatever you want to do. Half inch, make sure you uh, use pilot holes or screws will go right through it. Um, basically, you're just building the cabinet. So I did, it's been a long time since I've built one, so I put one all together. So here we go. Filter just goes right in here. Fan on top. So I'm just going to use a can fan. You can pick these up for anywhere from 50 to 100 bucks on mine. Um, so you put a hole there. We'll seal around the hole after the fan is in there. And then there's going to be a filter housing out of leftover particle board. So we're just literally going to build another box on top of where the fan goes and put a filter on top and that'll be our coarse filter. Um, I'm using a 15 by 20, so literally this is 20 inches wide. Fan goes inside, 20, 15, 15 by 20 coarse filter on top. So then we don't gum up our HEPAs, which are more expensive than regular coarse filters. Um, so particle board, screw them together, cock all of the joints, and then paint it. So my favorite paint on this earth, uh, there's a couple things you never skimp on. Toilet paper, never skimp on toilet paper. Hoses, never skimp on hoses. And paint, never skimp on paint. And my favorite paint on earth that this whole op is covered in this stuff is bulletproof, it's even on my autoclave, is pre-catalyzed epoxy. It's actually half off right now. Um, from, it's Sherwin-Williams. No, I'm not paid by Sherwin-Williams. This stuff is just rock solid. It's amazing. It's, uh, you don't have to mix it like typical epoxies. And when it dries, it dries rock hard and it's basically bulletproof. I love this stuff. It can get wet. I mean, it's, it's amazing stuff. And the temperature stuff, uh, if you're going to paint your steamer or anything like that, pre-catalyzed epoxy, no mixing, just put it in there, roll it on or spray it on. I like to use the super waterproof stuff because one, we're a mushroom farm, water is always getting all over everything. Um, and then for here, I know that there's going to be cups and stuff, you know, for my scalpel and yada, yada, yada on top with liquid. So I want something that 
the water won't seep into the wood. Um, water seeps into the wood, then you're going to have stuff growing on the wood. That's why we want to coat the entire thing with a good paint. Don't skimp on paint. Don't skimp on toilet paper. Don't skimp on hoses. Um, so anyway, you just cut a hole. Uh, particle board's really easy to cut. So again, you're just making a box out of wood. Measure it. Measure twice. Cut once. Um, that's why I built this one first. Um, one thing that I will tell you. Build, put it all together, paint it, and leave the top off. Um, so you could slide the filter in, but what you want to do is you want to seal with some sort of sealant. Um, silicone doesn't like to stick to stuff, even though silicone's cheap. Don't use it. Use this stuff right here. It's more expensive. It's like eight bucks a tube, but this stuff is amazing. It'll stick to anything and it'll form a great seal. So the top is off. I will seal, put all this around my filter to make a great big gasket and then place this on top. So we don't want air getting around the filter that is not filtered air, defeats the purpose. So don't skimp on the most important thing of your app, filtration and the stuff that you are building it with. Splurge on the paint, splurge on the, the cock, and uh, we're already saving massive amounts of money by building it ourselves. so you can splurge on the paint. Um, I don't know if I said, but that paint's typically 70 bucks a gallon. One gallon would do probably three of these, um, and then get this stuff, Lexel. Anyway, when you put your fan in here, you're going, I'm, I always seal around here. You don't really need to because this is not filtered air really, even though the coarse filter is going to be up here. Um, but I like it all to be sealed up so we're getting that pressure. Anyway, so we went over the filter, uh, anywhere from 100 to 300 bucks, depending on where you want to buy it. Um, make sure it's HEPA, that it's cleaning out everything. You can use these fans, but I am a huge believer in going to the Scrapyard. Scrapyard, one of their biggest uh, recycling things that they scrap are furnaces and air conditioners. And you can pick up uh, squirrel cage fans. Literally, me and the guy here in Pacific, I'll give him mushrooms and he'll give me fans. And we're to the point that I've gotten so many of them that I'll say, hey, when you get this size fan in, set it to the side and let me know. And... The scrapyard is a huge, huge, huge asset to small mushroom growers because you can pick up all kinds of stuff that we can use. What I've used is a lot of their fans. So in my HEPA that you guys have seen on my other videos, there's a squirrel cage fan in there that came out of an AC. Just clean it up, put it in there. I bought these because I was lazy, but they're cheap. 50, 60 bucks, you can probably find them for less. This is a six inch. So for a two by four, you, I won't get into all of this stuff about how HEPAs work and wanting pressure and all this other stuff. But the key is getting air with a little bit of pressure behind it. I'll let you watch other videos on how that stuff works. So all in all, we got, I think I paid 150 bucks for the filters. 30 bucks for the lumber, or let's round it up to 50 bucks. Um, the fan, this filter is under 300 bucks. If you bought a two by four filter um, from a filter company for a flow hood, you guys know how much those are. It's gonna be thousands, not hundreds, and you are not getting anything better. So don't skimp on the paint. Don't skimp on the uh, cock. Use that Lexel cock. Um, and the other stuff is pretty straightforward. But that's what I'm building these two for my new spawn lab. Hopefully in a month or so, I will have it up and going. Uh, so I don't have to pay for spawn. But in the meantime, I am buying my spawn. I talked about that in my last video. Actually, there's some right there from North Spore, right behind me. Um, 
I'm going to show you the other sponge. The North Spore sends it in these boxes. And if you want um, <clears throat> a cooler, they also do coolers for an additional price. So, let's turn on the light in here. Got lots of mushrooms, lots of blocks. If you're interested in blocks, I sell those. But here is Amicel Spawn. So, Amicel, A-M-Y-C-E-L. This is how their spawn comes. There's two about 20 pound bags in there. Um, they colonized so well, they were 100% ready to fruit in eight days in my colonization room. Watch my other video at five days. They were just killing it with uh, Amicel 3015. So I dropped my spawn down to, so for a 10 pound bag, I am doing now, um, let's see. Half uh, just under a half cup, just under a half cup. That's, that's a, I couldn't believe it, how well that spawn did. So I dropped the amount of spawn. So each t 20 pound bag, now I'm doing like 150 10 pound bags, each 20 pound bag. So although I'm spending a lot of money, the spawn is killer and I can get away with using less than my own. I mean, believe it or not, they're better at making spawn than I am. Anyway, so filters went over that. Uh, hope everybody has a good Christmas. I had Christmas with my family today. Ate too much. Hope you guys do too. Um, hang in there, stay motivated, and we'll talk to you later.